Hello. Hello, Scorpios. So, this is your love reading for the month of March 2018. So, let's see what we got for you guys, Scorpios. This may not resonate with every one of you because it's a general reading. It may just apply to maybe a few people, maybe just one people, maybe more people. I don't know. We'll see who gets a message. My intention is whoever needs to hear something may a message come through. So let's see what we have for you guys. Scorpios. What's up with you? Okay. Oops. Okay, so the Queen of Cups. Activity. You have the Ace of Wands, your card. Change. Spooning. The Fall. Thing is, like, with you guys, I think there's this need of you to be more aware of what's going on around you and not try to rush things or necessarily to act there's this need for you to wait to sit on it and think your impulse your card is to act now this new beginning and you're foolishly like marching on forward like you're taking risks and because you want it now you want to act you don't want to wait you don't you want to begin whatever this new thing you want to beginning action you don't want to stay where you are this get this feeling of urgency of wanting to start something new but the cards are telling you there is change coming there is a swift change maybe someone coming in your life maybe someone left your life maybe like this abrupt change that has happened from the outside i get like it's not unstable energy coming from the outside so I, in your case here, I don't get like you have a partner, like or like things are shifting, like things are changing abruptly. You may have left a partner, maybe you want a partner, maybe this this idea of change, and you needing to take action now and embark on this new road. But this, in, it's foolish. The cards are kind of tell you to wait like sit on it you don't need to act right now you don't need to rush into anything you have to wait and deal with this queen of chalices it tells me this is the receptivity card it's called receptivity in the Osho deck and it has the energy of being aware of what's around you and receive like the more like i get like passivity being passive and receptive is this female energy does does not impose, does not rush, does not uh, act necessarily. It's more like a place of you to allow things to come on their own and open up to them. Be open to receive what is coming. Don't force it yourself. Don't don't try to push things. Don't try to force things. Don't try to push things. Now it's the time for you to rather just sit, be patient open up to what's around you open your eyes open your like be receptive to what's around you and learn and you don't need to act you it's better off to just sit on it and wait because there's this unstable energy coming from the outside there's a unstable energy and your desire to act new beginning you're excited enthusiasm you like now um 
the fall. It's kind of foolish to embark like this and without... You need to be more cautious. Pay attention to what's around you. Be cautious. Take your time. You're now in the need to be more reflective and be more attentive. Attentive? I don't know. What's that word? <laughs> Pay attention. Pay attention to what is around you. Uh, relax. You need to have more relaxed energy. And don't be foolish. Don't jump foolishly into anything just because you want something now or you want... As I said, it's better for you right now to just take your time. See what's going on with this change. Yeah, this the lovers. There's someone that may be coming. Maybe someone left. Maybe someone coming. I think maybe someone coming fastly into your life. Yeah, the two of cups. There's a person coming. I think it's a new person. And the wheel. Sudden change. And... As I said, you may have this impulse to, yeah, let's start now. Let's begin like foolishly being like the fool. <laughs> la, 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 I'm jumping into this. I don't care. I just want this. <laughs> no, you have to like chill. Uh uh. Chill, girl or guy. Chill. Chill. Chill a little bit. Like, you don't need to rush things. Take your time. See what's up. Learn about them. Like this is what I get from the to me personally, this Queen of Cups. Like when you sit, sit there quietly, and just wait, look around, be receptive, see what's coming. And don't act. You don't need to impose. Just sit calmly. Look around. So there's a new guy or girl coming in your life, as I said. And there, it's like, again, like quite fast. It's like, it's like abrupt change. Ta-da! And it's okay, like you don't need to, like, but you need to be careful. You need to be cautious. And this is not to tell you that, like, this is a bad, bad person. No, it's like, you better be cautious and you better, like, take your time to learn first more about a person. Don't jump right in. Don't, um, because if you might jump right in, you may like misunderstand some things and then maybe you, you, you'll have problems later. So if you have take your time and try to learn more about the person or try to like get to see them, get to know them before you jump in, like you, you have a better chance to build a, like a more solid and healthy relationship rather than just jump in and then like poof, fire and explosions and fighting because if you have these expectations because you didn't take your time to learn about this person and about yourself so time to chill for some of you guys it's time to chill so it's all good it's not like nothing bad is gonna happen or anything like this there are no bad vibes it, the cards are just telling you to take your time and learn things. Try to be aware of what's around you, of what yourself, and don't rush things. So, yeah, this is it. If you resonated with this, I hope it helped. And if you didn't, then it's okay. Maybe next time I'll have a video for you. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye, Scorpios.